This year, I'm thankful for my friends and family. We are so blessed. Um, I'm so thankful for uh, Achievement House faculty and staff and students and parents, and I'm thankful also for my family and friends. I'm thankful for my family, my friends, uh, my awesome students, and my dog, Lucy. This Thanksgiving, I'm thankful for all the wonderful people that I get to work with at Achievement House. I'm thankful for those wonderful people too, especially my best friend sitting right behind me and the fact that we get to share this tiny little office together. I am very thankful for a wonderful husband and children as well as a job that I love and co-workers that are wonderful. This Thanksgiving, I am super thankful for my puppies, Macy and Tucker. They light up my world. And I'm also very thankful to have such a wonderful co-anchor to do the morning announcements with here at HCCS. So, like I'm showing you guys, hey. Hey. what are you doing in here? I'm trying the great things. I'm very busy. Oh. Sorry. Does anybody see anything else that can cancel out? We're ready to do the Thanksgiving segment of the announcements. Oh, well, what do I have to do? Um, well, we're just asking everybody to say what they're thankful for right now. So the feet and the feet will cancel out. Now, what am I I'm thankful for? that if my miles I have my miles two days off and that my feet cancel out. I'll have oh, to do I the left. announcements with you over those two days. I've got inches. Is that good? You're so rude. Is that rec are we recording? I'll yes. What do I have down below? Thankful for my dog and, and my wife. Hey, Shady. Are you mad? It's only kidding. That look is for because you're a jerk. What? I was just kidding. So was I. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, everybody. This is Mrs. Potts. I am one of the 10th grade mentors and a math teacher. Hey, everybody. This is Mr. Rieckert, the 8th and 12th grade social studies teacher. Let's kick off our announcements with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag, flag of the United, United States, States of America. Of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So we have a big announcement today. We were officially approved on December 14th to have a 24-hour gaming marathon lock-in. Yes. No way. Yes, we are entitling it Games for Tots. Now what it is, is if you are in or around the New Florence area, you can come to the New Florence Center on December 14th and you can join us for a lock-in where we will be playing 24 games in 24 hours, which will be live broadcast on the internet, and we will be accepting donations, either cash donations or toy donations, for Toys for Tots for the holiday season. Brand new unopened toys. Yes, brand new unopened toys. The admission for the event is either $10, or you can bring in a brand new toy to donate to Toys for Tots. And also, pretty cool, we got one of these Wii U. Brand what? new, just I came out. I see that sitting over yes, there. Yes, just came out on Sunday. So, if you want to get your hands on this, you can definitely come, gaming club members especially. And also, we got Halo Four. We're going to be playing Call of Duty Black Ops Two. We're going to have every system here to play, for you guys to play for the 24-hour gaming marathon. So, the goal is to raise money. I think we want to set it high. Maybe say, you want a five thousand dollars? Think we can do it. That would be pretty cool. Oh yeah, it could happen easily. Yes, yeah. so there are permission slips on the main page that you can access. You want to make sure that you have your parents sign those before the event. Again, that's December 14th, and you can check out the main page for more info. Sounds good. That's really awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. It's, it's be really a, a neat thing to have in cyber school. Yeah. All right, one of the other neat things that we have in cyber school is we still have assemblies. Today, the 9th grade and 10th grade levels are meeting today, both at 11 o'clock. I'll be at the 10th grade one. If you are in 9th grade or in 10th grade, please make sure that you are accessing your mentor room or on the main site to go to your grade level assembly. Cool. Let's throw it over to Mrs. Rieckert for a little Fashion 101. Welcome back to Fashion 101, everyone. This week we're going to be talking about hair tips. And today I'm going to teach you how to do a sock bun. Some items that you're going to need. A sock. Bobby pins. Hairspray. A brush, of course. And a water bottle, just in case you have some of those flyaway hairs. First, what you need to do is get an old sock. Make sure it's clean. 
and you are going to cut the bottom off just like this. Then you are simply going to roll the sock into donut form. Like this. You want to put your hair in a ponytail like Tiff has hers here. You're going to take the sock and you're going to put it at the end of your ponytail. You want to fold your hair over top of the sock and then you just want to keep rolling, 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 and rolling. Now, like Tiff, she has a lot of layers. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to take the hair and you want to pin it all around and you want to make sure that you have enough bobby pins to pin in the hair. All right, guys, we are now putting the final touches on. We're going to spray down the extra pieces, put our bobby pins in. And voila, perfect sock bun. Tiff, turn your head for them to the back. There you go. Perfect. That was pretty cool. I know, she tried to do that with my hair and it didn't work out so well, um, but we modified it in a way that it looked, it looked good still. Very cool. All right, so if you are interested, you can check out a Chick-fil-A in Ridley. And when you are there, it's at 405 East McDade Boulevard, and that's in Folsom, PA. All right, so from 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock on the following dates that you see below here, you can go, and 20% of the protein proceeds are going to go to the Study Abroad program. So there's another fundraiser opportunity, and it can help um, send students abroad, which was a really great idea. So um, again, if you want to check out the dates below, and go to a Chick-fil-A, you can also mingle with your teachers and eat some awesome chicken sandwiches. I love Chick-fil-A chicken it's sandwiches. So They're so good. <laughs> All right, let's take it over to our senior principal, Amy Rupp, for a message. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Rupp wishing you a wonderful, wonderful few days off here. Please take the time to look over your assignments over your break and and submit any of those outstanding assignments so that you come back refreshed and rejuvenated. You did a great job in quarter one. Let's continue that pace with quarter two. Contact your teachers, get those assignments ready, and come back with a fresh slate next Monday. Have a great holiday. All right, thank you, Mrs. Rep. Let's take a few minutes to talk about yearbook. I know it's almost like the school year just started, but trust me, guys, we got to get cracking on yearbook. What you can do to help uh, have a friendly competition between the grade levels is go on the main site and submit your yearbook picture. There's a link right there for you so that you and your grade level can win. You'll win bragging rights and possibly some prizes. Nice. So get those pictures in. If you have any questions, contact your mentor or just visit the main site. All right. Well, from all of us here at AHCCS, we just want to wish you a really happy Thanksgiving. Be safe, and we will see you back on Monday. See you guys.